wonderful family. We are glad we could make time to join you on this episode. My name is Jojo Ahim Ajiman Wete. I'm here with Elder Kofi Ousu every year. And the program you are watching is Inspiration Behind the Hymns on Hope TV. Elder Akwaba. Yenia, Yenia Jojo. Yanto Onyom. Yeah. Na Yamompe. Na Fi. Me introduce my guest group. That's fine. Adofo S D A H three seven six three seven six. All things are thine. are indeed thine and no gift have we we thank you so much for this gift of life for this awesome opportunity to sing and to worship your holy name we invite your very presence in our midst and we pray and plead that you bless and sanctify in jesus mighty name amen amen you are welcome to Inspiration Behind the Hymns. And the uh, group of the Eastern Region, Eastern Region, specifically Suhum. From the Maranatha Youth Choir, Maranatha Youth Choir, or Suhum District, you know, our Diamond Field. Ghana, Ghana conference, Diamond Field Ghana conference. Eho na wofi na waba waba yen ma ya tutu tutu nyom kakra yeze yame nizin ayo nyuma ubi zikan watu no aye SDH four two two marching to Zion yeah marching to Zion nyumi Isaac Watts. Isaac Watts. Our favorite. Uh, the Venerable Isaac Watts. Yeah. Onye Robert Laurie. Ena Oya Inyomno. Oda. Yeah, you know, it's, it's a beautiful piece, you know, written by Isaac Watts. Isaac Watts was an English minister, a hymn writer, and a theologian. He is acclaimed as the father of English hymnody. Mm. Yeah. The hymns that we have, started with people like what Isaac, Isaac Watts. Watts and I'll tell you why mm. this very song marching to Zion is based on Jeremiah 31 verse 6 it says arise ye and let us go to Zion mm. it was first published in 1707 but the tune that we love so much by Robert Laurie was made in 18 67. Mm. You know, the, the, when Isaac Watts, the Wesley, started the hymns, the Church of England and the church as a whole were not used to hymns. Mm. We were singing the metrical psalms. Mm. Yeah. So they sang the psalms word for word. Mm -hmm. They didn't want to give room for any inspiration which might veer off the text and the substance of God's word. Mm -hmm. So many of the archbishops were, were guiding this very word, very, very, very well. But I got to a time, they realized that hymns were becoming a bit more popular. Mm -hmm. So the Church of England arranged that before the divine service, before the sermon, they would sing the metrical psalms. Okay. Then the sermon would be administered, would be given. Then after the sermon, 
then they will end the church service with a hymn. Okay. So that was a compromise arrangement okay. to balance the change that was occurring within the church. And what was happening, Juju, was that any time they were singing the hymns at the end of service, the conservatives who felt that the hymn should not have any place in the church would just walk out of the church. Mm. <laughs> they would not even stay for, for the, for the benediction. So it wow. is noted that the second stanza of this hymn was an indictment by Isaac Watts to that kind of behavior. So let's go at the second stanza. <laughs> Let those who refuse, refuse to, to sing, <laughs> who never knew our God, but children of the heavenly king, but children of the heavenly king, may speak their joys abroad. May speak their joys mm -hmm. abroad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, you know, most <laughs> hymnologists have, have averred that this stanza mm -hmm. was a direct response to the behavior of the conservatives mm -hmm. when they tried to boycott the hymns at the end of what? Worship services. <laughs> but it's a very beautiful hymn, you know. We are marching what? To, to Zion. Zion. <laughs> it's a very interesting history. Mm. Isaac Watts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let I can those, imagine. Let those refuse I, to sing. <laughs> who never knew our God? Mm. Uh, wonderful. What I saw the one more happen, I saw. To know the Kenyan one penny and was always who will. Oh, that's amazing. Anyway. Isaac Watts and our Robert Laurie, once who once was a mobile SDH 422, marching to Zion. Now, Maranatha Youth Choir, Maranatha Youth Choir, I will feed Suhum, what will you mean? Key, I will be using your F major. You're going to go to him. Join me in the song. 
inspiring ministration by the Maranatha Youth Choir from Suhum in the eastern region of Ghana. Mayazi. Yami Inshramu Fa Yami Inshramu. Other next hymn, uh, Maranatha for Wobo and Mayatu, a uh, 290. Zero. Zero. Yeah. 290. <laughs> Turn your eyes upon Jesus. Hymn, you met in Umsa. Yeah. Umsa. Beautiful hymn. Hey. My uncle be a friend of David Aka. Now, what way? What was soprano? First time I heard this thing. On what way? Benina Obo soprano. Wow. You can imagine. <laughs> I, I'm the sis, your say, Ivory Coast also. A division. Yeah. Yeah. Juma. Uncle Jamin Shrao. Turn your eyes upon Jesus. Helen Hewitt. Hewitt. Yeah. On what yeah. way? Helen Hewitt. Yeah. You know. It's, it's, it's a beautiful hymn. I mean, this hymn is lovely. It was written by Helen, mm -hmm. born in November of 1864 okay. in Greater Manchester, England. Mm -hmm. Daughter of a Wesleyan Methodist minister. Mm -hmm. Held positions at Moody Bible Institute at both Chicago and Los Angeles campuses. Mm -hmm. Wrote about 500 hymns and a large volume of children's music. Mm. That is Helen. In 1918, according to Helen, she chanced on a pamphlet, right? And in that pamphlet was, was um, a write-up, okay. but the heading was, Turn Your Eyes Upon, upon Jesus. Jesus. Turn Your Eyes Upon Jesus. She said, suddenly, as if commanded to stop all that she was doing and attend to what she needed to write, I stood still and singing in my soul and spirit was the chorus hmm. of this hymn with not one conscious moment of putting the words down. Hmm. So when she read the pamphlet, turn your eyes upon jesus she said something miraculous happened to her mm. instantly she began to feel a presence and she was singing the chorus of this hymn right what in her heart and in that evening she wrote the stanzas mm. for this all important hymn which is more of a solo hymn than a congregational hymn mm. so he says Turn your eyes upon Jesus. Mm. Look full in his wonderful face. And the things of earth will grow strangely mm -hmm. dim in the light of his glory and grace. So this refrain was given to her instantly when she read the pamphlet. Turn your eyes upon what Jesus. Mm -hmm. She began to harm it. It was just coming. Then later she did the first the second hmm. and the third word stanzas. So sometimes it is wonderful how they receive the hymns and the words of these wonderful hymns. Yeah. It's, it could only be from God. From God. It was like a more I mean, immediately she saw the yeah. statement, turn your eyes, eyes upon, Jesus. upon Jesus. She froze. Everything she was doing had to come to standstill. No, the okay, yeah, the mad mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> inspiration. Yeah. Spirit, it can only be from God. Yeah, then yami ase, and him seno yegudo yato timeless. It's still a chain mu in samana awo. Yeah, da yami ase da ose the mazi ozamae. Maranatha yusqua awo fisu hum waboto enyumi yamae. Turn your eyes upon Jesus. Na kia ubo yusu no aye F major. Yangu nko te nyuma yambra.
duet outstanding harmony <laughs> guys my as a I mean we are good we are good so whom Maranatha you square I mean sure oh that you share next one on the easy yet we are the bomb pay all things are sign SGH three seven Six, you know, three, seven, six. It's a beautiful hymn, right? It is. All things are dying. Normally, it what is. what time do we sing this hymn? After um, Alfred Tree. After Alfred Tree. After Alfred Tree. Mm. Okay. I don't know why after Alfred Tree because the history of this hymn is is, is very interesting. Mm. <laughs> yeah, you know, it was written by John Greenleaf Whiter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Whiter, born in eighteen o seven, in Massachusetts. His parents were farmers. And his childhood was rather very difficult. He, he worked as a shoemaker, mm. worked as a teacher to pay his way to college. Yeah. Mm. He was not a hymn writer, but mm -hmm. he wrote a lot of poems. The intent was not that the poems would be converted to hymns. But strangely enough, many of his poems are now hymns that we sing okay. for example the sdh 455 immortal love forever full okay. written by john greenleaf whiter mm. 480 and 481 dear lord and father of mankind, of mankind. forgive know. our foolish ways forgive <laughs> our foolish ways you know this is a poem written by john but was turned into an incredible what him all things are dying is just like that. It was a poem that was written for the dedication of a temple. Mm. Right. It was a temple what dedication. And he was asked to write this poem as part of the dedication word process. Okay. So he wrote this wonderful poem for the Plymouth Congregational Church in St. Paul, Minnesota. That was in 1872. Mm -hmm. And by God's grace, it has been turned what, into what? A hymn. Mm -hmm. But the text denotes the dedicatory prayer that we find in, in 1 Kings, right? Mm -hmm. 1 Kings chapter 8. Let's look at verses 27 and 28. Verse 26 and 27. And now, O God of Israel, let your word that you promised your servant David, my father, come true. But will God really dwell on earth? The heavens, even the highest heaven, cannot contain you. How much less this temple we have what, built. This was Solomon's decree word, prayer. Yeah. And the hymn is just like that. The text stanza says, no lack thy perfect fullness new for human needs 
and longings grew. This house of prayer, this home of rest, here may thy saints be often blessed. Amen. Amen. So it is a hymn for a dedication of the temple of God. But surprisingly, we sing this hymn often mm. when we collect our, okay. our thighs and what? Uh, offerings. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyway. You say, you know, church, you know, because now we have order of service. service yeah. Now we choose a new man at any point in time. No, was that Na, but I, I think the other yeah, so you to hear modifications from time to time. Ma oh yeah, very relevant, no. Yes, be she say him. Only yeah, chena because uh, yes, I say yeah to holy, holy. Now glory yeah. be to the Father. Yeah. Watch it. Uh, yeah. Watch it. And see, maybe yeah, from time to time, no. Yeah, chena. Yes, it's as if say na. Maybe yeah, two years be another three years be ano. Yeah, it changes. Kakra na ni mo asasa. Um. A dedicatory prayer. prayer. Oh, no. I yes, 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 yes. And even the second stanza is very wonderful. Mm -hmm. Thy will was in the builder's thought. Mm -hmm. Thy hand unseen amidst us route. Mm -hmm. Through mortal motive, scheme, and plan, mm -hmm. thy wise eternal purpose ran. Mm -hmm. you know, so it's mm -hmm. a dedicatory prayer for a temple. Usually, <laughs> you're in two. You're in two other stanzas. Yeah. So it's just the first, first stanza. Yeah, yeah. You lose two. Ah, ah. <laughs> Maranata U Square. Maranata U Square, what was the age? Three, seven, six. All things are dying. And you may John Greenleaf White here on or troll or troll in my head. Now, Kia will use a A flat major. A flat major. Why modulation? A B flat major.
outstanding delivery by Maranatha Youth Choir. Ha! Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. My as Pa, my as My as Oh, the end share SDH 121. Go yeah. tell it on the mountain. Go tell it on the mountain. American Negro Spiritual. And it was arranged by John Weck. <laughs> John Weck. <laughs> w O R K. Weck. <laughs> Weck. Right. You know, go tell it on the mountain. One, two, one. But in other hymn books, it is us with gladness, men of God. Mm. It's an American. Negro spiritual arranged by John Wesley Weck, Jr. Mm. You know, the research says the traditional text of this very spiritual was in two stanzas, but the present three stanza is the work of John Wesley Weck, Jr., a native of Nashville, mm. influenced deeply by the American spirituals. Mm -hmm. His work was to immortalize these spirituals, once only remembered by those who suffered under what? Slavery. So it was a very wonderful work that John did. But this spiritual tells a story about how the Fisk Jubilee singers mm -hmm. use this very spiritual to save an entire university. Mm. So the Fisk, the Fisk University is in Nashville, Tennessee. And somewhere in 1871, the university was distressed financially. Mm. It was a black dominated university and they were cash trapped. The university was almost having to close down because of financial difficulties. Then they had these singers called the Fisk Jubilee Singers. Okay. To commemorate the 50th anniversary of the university, they decided to embark on a tour of singing the Negro spirituals with the aim to raise money okay. to support their university. Mm. So their target was $100,000. As far back as 1871. Mm. And they started the tour. They were 10 in number. And they, you know, they littered America with these spirituals. They were having audience. Now they had to go to Europe. And through their concerts, through their singing, they were able to exceed their targets. Wow. And they raised a substantial amount of money, donated it to Fisk University. And that university has survived up to today. Really? Yeah. So the Fisk Jubilee Singers, the Fisk University in Tennessee, United States of what? America. Mm -hmm. That is a story of how mm. popular Go Tell It on a Mountain was back in the 1800s. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Those days. Those days, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Perseverance. Mm -hmm. There is nothing in this world that when you set your mind to it, you cannot achieve it. They persevered. Yeah. They decided to do some. They purposed in their hearts to raise funds for the university. And I heard I can in the this in the university no. So what I say? Oh. And I love the way he he John Weck or oh yeah in your arrangements. Oh yeah, arrangements, you know. Unison, then harmony. harmony. Unison, then harmony. Oh, <laughs> oh, beautiful. Yanko, ne yanko ko te one two one, one two one, written or arranged by John Wesley Weck Jr. Go, tell it on the mountain. Yanko, ne yanko ko te. Maranatha fo ki ya ubo use wada to aye F major. Yanko, ne yambra.
Wonderful ministration by the Maranatha Youth Choir. Maranatha Youth Choir. Yes, I must say. Yes, I must say. Yes, I must say. Yes, my must say. Yes, I must say. Yes, I must say. Yes, I must say. Yes, I must as ends all strife, such a life as killeth death. I may 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 how uh when you're the inspiration what they throw them west you know, and the the way they are able they to rhyme and put it, it together. <laughs> George Herbert. George Herbert Alex Alexander Brent Smith and uh where the meaning me. Yeah, you know, come my way, 247. These words were from a poem by George Herbert in a collection that we talk about quite often on this program. It's called the Temple Collections. So in that poetry, that poem, book of poems, they converted one of the poems into this wonderful hymn. That is often called a solo hymn because... Mm. When a soloist performs this hymn, mm -hmm. it is more touching than a congregation singing it. Okay. Yeah, so it is a soloist word, hymn, mm -hmm. more than a congregational hymn. The poem is mostly monosyllabic, and it is aptly describes a relationship that we have with Jesus Christ in nine words. Okay. So the nine words describe the relationship that we have with Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. So come, he is my way. He is my truth. Mm -hmm. He is my life. The first stanza, there are three significant words in the first stanza. Mm -hmm. He is the way, the truth, the truth. And, what? and the life. He must come in such a way as gives us breath. Such a truth as ends all strife. Mm -hmm. He must come in such a life as killeth death. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just love the way they write. Then the second that gives us the next three. Mm -hmm. You know, the next three. He must mm -hmm. come my light, mm -hmm. my feast, my strength. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. He must come in such a light as shows a feast. Mm -hmm. Such a feast as men's in length such a strength as makes as makes his word guest then the last stanza gives us the last three mm -hmm. of the nine mm -hmm. he is my joy my love. he is my love my he is heart. my heart he must come in such a joy as none can move mm. 
such a love as none can part, mm. such a heart as oh, joys in love. love. Amen. So Amen. it's monosyllabic. Nine words describing <coughs> our relationship with Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. Our Savior. Yeah. I don't know Way, which one truth, which life, one works for you. <laughs> light, feast, strength, joy, joy love, love hearts. Heart. Yeah. Yami Leadanasi, George Herbert, and Alexander Brent Smith. Once who was a my enemy. Na Yem Kony Kunkuti Ma Nasa Youth Choir. I will feel soon. Our Diamond Field Ghana Conference. You could say one, Mayembra. By Maranasa Yuska. Monyo me de. Monyo me de. Papa 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 papa. Maya ze. Yami. Inshramo. Oh, da yenye yen last him for this episode. Na ono ye ko akofa e wonke ka hum. N two. N two. N two. My heart and voice I raise. Meze kuma nenze. Dabna fancy no. My heart and voice are raised. Benjamin Rhodes and uh, what you them and you me. Remember,
That's a wonderful hymn. <laughs> wonderful hymn. <laughs> my heart and my voice. You know, it was written by Benjamin Rhodes, right? Mm -hmm. He was born in Yorkshire, England, in 1843. He was brought under the influence of religion by the preaching of George Whitefield in 1766. He was a son of a schoolmaster. Mm. He received the elements of a good education in his youth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he was for many years a Wesleyan minister, mm. having been sent forth to preach the word by John Wesley. So that is okay. the, 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 the gist of this wonderful guy called Benjamin mm. Rhodes, who put this incredible hymn together mm. for us. My heart and voice... And voice I raise mm. to spread Messiah's praise. praise. Messiah's praise, let all repeat mm. the universal Lord by, by whose almighty mind. word creation rules in form complete. Mm. <laughs> mm. These guys can write. Mm. Mm. Creation <laughs> rules <laughs> in form complete. <laughs> yeah. You can imagine the mentorship. Yeah, mentorship. Yeah, that one I see. It was here for one my young court, Nian Concote, my Nasa, you square, word to N2, my heart and voice I raise. Like here, I will use here F major. You could say, you baritone and the auto duets awesome 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 soprano solo exquisite ah. <laughs> it's a youth choir now ah. it's a youth choir oh yes <laughs> yes my beautiful impeni for amuse nyu my azinyami enshramo pa nyami enshramo amishramo 
Oh, that may acknowledge him for now. After you say you will close remarks now. Young fat Jimizino, young fan brave. It was your father, most share inspiration behind the hymns. Group I in your one, a Maranatha U Square. Maranatha U Square, I will feed Suhum, with his Suhum in the eastern region of Ghana. Now, I was Suhum, they are part of the Suhum district. Suhum district of the Adventist Church of one of Diamond Field Ghana Conference. Diamond Field Ghana Conference. Music director, I was the one in him. Ruben Tete Opoku. Ruben Tete Opoku. Ruben, Yami in Shrao. Ruben Asuna, or a conductor for the group. Conductor for the group. No, sign here, Suhum District Music Director. Choir leaders. Hey, uh, Miriam Apeo, Miriam Apeo, and a Franklin Alato, Franklin Alato. Keyboard is now turning to us in Kunichi, Michael Osei Asani. Patrons are what the group is nature dom. Hey, uh, Elder Peter Safu Buedi, Mr. Andrews Buedi, and uh, Elder Emmanuel Ohene. In page info, Yami. In Shamu, Papa, 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 Yada must say. The Mode Mohonzen, Musica, Munim Z, Munyansa, Mode support groupy Mosemayen. What a wonderful group. And yes, you are, yeah, Wobinin, Wabay, awesome group in the country and in, in the SDA church. Into Yama in your uncle, or um, to whom in Penifo. Yama, you know, Maranatha, you've got one now. Aren't you obey one this? We thank them so much. Mm. You know, the, the, the hymn for the week is 376 All things are thine. Mm. And I would love every church to at least sing through all the standards mm. because it's one wonderful hymn that we have. In the Adventist hymnal, mm. three seven six. Three seven six. All things are thine. Mm. Mm. Okay. Obusi afu yada masi. Da moje bro na moshe inspiration behind the hymns. Elder yada wosuase. Yeah. Kwa abumbo tonyom modema in Maranatha yada masi. Pa yamini shiramo. Penyufu a wo conference wo 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 district wo. I worship my boy, so you're the winning. I say, you may add my best son, you share your elder Bob Bompey, Nafi, yes, the Jumezino, yes, our baby. Yeah, you I will pray with the with the fourth and the fifth stanzas, even as you just give us softly, okay, even as we pray. Now, like my audience to take note of the words of this wonderful hymn, let us pray says in weakness and in want we call on thee for whom the heavens are small thy glory is thy children's good thy joy thy tender fatherhood O oh, father deign these walls to bless that is the walls of our churches Make this the abode of righteousness. And let these doors, the doors that we walk and enter our churches, be a gateway to lead us from ourselves to thee. For we have prayed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. The inspiration behind the hymns. I may add my next week would come your way again. Bye bye.